the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. It's a new day, a brand new day, the day the Lord has made. We thank the Almighty God, the ever living, ever faithful, ever gracious Lord for how far He has brought us. May His name be praised now and forevermore. Hallelujah. Bring the Lord our theme for reflection today is seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Zephaniah chapter 2, 1 to 3. Seek the Lord. Zephaniah chapter 2, the first three verses. Theme is Seek the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, Gather together. Gather together, O oh, sinful nation, before the appointed time arrives, and that day sweeps on like staff, before the fierce anger of the Lord comes upon you, before the day of the Lord's wrath comes upon you. Seek the Lord, O oh, you humble of the land, you who do what he commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you will be sheltered. On the day of the Lord's anger. Oh my God. So people of God, the Lord is ever gracious and merciful. Through the, the prophet Zephaniah, God has sent forth his warning concerning the coming judgment upon the sins of the nation of Judah. And this has been emphasized by the truth that God has faced the day of his judgment. And this will surely come and cannot be reversed. Now, the prophet calls Judah to take heed of the warning of judgment and seek the Lord. The warning of judgment has been given well in advance, and this is God's mercy in order to give time for repentance, so that in the midst of the judgment, through genuine repentance and faith in Jehovah, individual can be saved from the eternal punishment for their sins. It already came to him. Zafania, dear for Zafania, say, catch your man, this woman, so my journey. May the debius you are mere with a dim bebuatin, or man's a so my jar, mere with a de bebuatin. The warning of judgment had been given well in advance. Or of Yami may be been to him for free. Before God will punish you, you give you a signal, he warn you, he will make sure. That you and I will not be will not be in hell. So you put every measures in play for us to escape hell. And I pray that the Lord will help us so that we will not escape hell. As we view these three verses, that is Zephaniah 2, 1 to 3, there are four points for us to consider. Number one, there is a gracious call. Of Frebi and Humobo Frebi, a dumb Frebi, and never Temenia, Nyame Frau, or Frewafi Bonim, or Frewafi German Boom, or Frewafi Trum, or Frewafi Yasin Woman. God is calling you out of the pledges of this world. There is a gracious call. Number two, there is action to take. When, of course, you need to take a, a drastic measure, action. Don't postpone your calling. Number three, there is an attitude to adopt. And four, there is a glimmer of hope. There is a glimmer of hope. Let us consider these four things for our own blessing and living today. The gracious call. God has declared that his judgment on Judah is final and fixed and cannot be reversed. However, in mercy and grace, God has announced the coming of judgment well in advance. So a gracious call. Wherever you are hearing my voice, may you receive the gracious hand of God. May God's gracious hand be extended to you. May God's gracious hand locate you wherever you are hearing my voice. Hallelujah. And his real mercy and grace. God has wanted Judah so many times. Number two, action to take. 
for those who hit the court to consider the finality of God's judgment to come, there is an action to take. We must seek the Lord. The way we seek the Lord is to be humble before Him and acknowledge that we deserve to be judged because of our sin and sinfulness and then do what God commands. See a bit ticky, and yes, our china massacre, and you may ya, a year ya, no pay ya, whatever you are hearing me. If you want to change your mind, the set time is now. Don't postpone your repentance, don't postpone your conversion. Let invite Jesus into your life now, and it'll be a blessing. Number three is the attitude to adopt. This brings us to the third point arising out of the verses before us in seeking the Lord. We must seek righteousness and seek humility. Seek righteousness and adopt humility. Adopt righteousness. Ma abrabo shubi e shubi enan And three, hope that is realized. A glimmer of hope. For those who saw the Lord in the time of Zephaniah were humble and did the Lord's commands. It was the assurance that in the coming judgment, the Lord will not forsake them. They will have the assurance that come what me, he will be their God and keep them safe in his love in this life and the next. So it was a peace. It was a peace in the midst of the coming judgment. Perhaps God will be gracious and mitigate the suffering for them. People of God, in conclusion, God's judgment is a reality. The world will be finally judged. God's judgment are being made manifest all through history. We who have faith know that we are always safe in the arms of Jesus and free from corroding care. May God be with us. May God help us. Don't forget the theme is seek the Lord. And number one is that a gracious call, a gracious call. The Lord are graciously calling us. It's calling us. Number two, take action. Action to take. There is an action to take. Number three, attitude to adopt. And number four, hope that is realized. May God be with you. May God be with you. May his presence carry you through the, the, the day. And may his presence be know that there's a time that God has set aside to judge everyone. Whether you are tall or short. Irrespective of your color. Your political affiliation, your qualification, your titles, God will judge us. May He be with us now and forevermore. Peace and life to you. Bye bye.